So in this video, we're going to look at why referencing is important. So the learning outcomes. We're going to look at why referencing is important and know how the Harvard referencing system is used. So what we're going to cover in this video is why we should use references in our essay, what plagiarism is, and how your references should look, especially at the end of the piece and within the actual essay itself, the referencing structure, how Anglia Ruskin University's guidelines can help you, and how I've used referencing. And then the references will follow at the end of this presentation so you can see where some of the sources are that I've used in my own work. So let's look at why you should use references. Well, first, this is to acknowledge that the sources of information that you've used have come from somewhere else. They're not necessarily just coming from you. And one of the issues here is that quite often you may be thinking that you have come up with the original idea, but what you're not realizing is how external influences have maybe given you those ideas and you need to reference those. So there is a, a question about how original are our ideas because we are influenced by external sources quite a bit, especially through television, radio and the internet. Referencing helps you to demonstrate the breadth and depth of reading that you have undertaken during the research and implementation of your essay. It helps you to present different views other than your own and integrate those into your own arguments. Referencing also helps you to support the arguments that you are making to give you more authority with the arguments that you're suggesting. And it also shows that you've not plagiarized somebody else. And that is quite important as we'll explain in the next slides. So what is plagiarism? Well, if you look for definitions of plagiarism on the internet, you'll find that plagiarism is the act of taking another person's writing, conversation, song, or even ideas and passing them off as your own. In other words, plagiarism is the act of fraud. It involves both stealing someone else's work and lying about it afterwards. Plagiarism is presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own, with or without their consent, by incorporating it into your own work without acknowledging where they've come from. So obviously I've borrowed those from somewhere else and I've referenced where those sources have come from. And I've also put each of these in quotation marks, indicating that these are quotes that I've borrowed from somewhere else. So how should your references look? At the end of your essay, you should have a section that is to do with references. And in that, you'll have blocks of text that indicate who the person is, what year the source was created, the title, whether it's a journal or a book or an internet reference. And you should lay them out in alphabetical order at the end of your essay. Now, references refer to what you've actually referenced in your essay, as opposed to a bibliography, which indicates reading that you may have done as part of your research, but haven't necessarily used those within your material as references. So a reference is basically all materials used within your essay. A bibliography is any, anything you may have researched, but not necessarily have used. But you might want other people to look at those texts to get a better understanding of what you're arguing. So the reference structure for an article. Here we have an article that is referenced at the end. And the structure is basically the surname, the person's initial, the year, the title of the article. If In this case, it's in a journal. So we have the title of the journal in italics, the edition of the journal, the pages in between the start and the end that the article is referred to. 
in a book we have the surname the initials the year the title of the text as in the book the place it was published in this case New York the publisher which is vintage books and the number of pages which is 291 on the web again it looks a little bit longer but what we have here is we have surname or initials I've just used initials because this is a short form version of Anglia Ruskin University Library and I've actually stated that as the place where this text is published it's a PDF file so the URL includes the PDF link which you can actually download and I'd actually recommend downloading this particular PDF as it can give you more information about how to structure your references in a range of different situations which I'm not exactly covering all of them in this particular presentation so that could be quite useful the other thing that you need to indicate is when you last accessed this particular file just in case it's not there and in my case I accessed it on the 23rd of March 2016 the Anglia Ruskin University guidelines indicate how to put in-text citation as being in quotation marks and then in brackets you have the name the year and the page so that anybody reading this can actually go to that document and locate it that specific text and just check how accurate you have been in your quotation and then the reference at the end would indicate as we've seen before the name the initial the year which normally would be in brackets the actual article or text the edition the place that it was published and who the publisher was there's actually a link I think to that particular article which you can find just there and then because I'm referencing it so the whole of this has just been copied I've now put a reference which is the Angular Ruskin University Library 2015 and page 6 so again if you download that particular PDF you should be able to see this on page 6 how I use referencing but in this situation I've used Venger and I've named him uh, as arguing that community of practice is formed through the interaction of three dimensions mutual engagement joint enterprise and shared uh, repertoire because I've actually referenced him I put his name he's uh, he's part of my argument I only need to put the year in brackets there's no need to put a page because this is not a direct quote it's just where I've got the idea from in this next one is a similar sort of case Knowles et al 2011 suggests students in ancient times were adults not children it's not a direct quote it's just a reference to where I got the ideas from now the et al means that there was more than one author for this particular text probably too long to actually have maybe about three or four people's names so it'd be too long to actually include there so you you shorten it down to the first person the first mentioned author of the text and then add et al to the end of that in italics now this next one I've included Shank 2002 suggests that children are allowed to make mistakes as part of the learning process so the first part I've used Shank as part of my argument so I put in brackets the the year he's the one making this suggestion that's where the ideas come from but I'm actually quoting as part of the learning process so I've got it in quotation marks and at the end I put the page number to where that quote actually comes from if the quote is going to be longer as it is with this next one and it's a direct quote then quite often you'd indent it a little bit more than the main text you'd have the colon at the end of the statement you're making so in this case it's SRC has stated that the college intends to now that's my writing and then after the colon it is the direct quote which is further widen access to learning opportunities by providing flexible forms of delivery through blended learning solutions and then I've put the SRC um, 2012 a because I've got two or three 
publications that I've referenced from SRC, which is the Southern Regional College, in that particular year. So in this one, it's the first one, so it's A, and then I've put the page number at the end in brackets. So that's for long form. So you'll notice that there's no quotation marks. It's just that the text has been indented. It's also at a slightly smaller font. So if the main text is in font 12, this would probably be in font 10. Just to indicate that you've actually you made some difference to the text in, in your own essay. And you're indicating and highlighting the fact that it is actual, an actual long quotation. So here are my references. So I've got the ARUL, which refers to the Anglia Ruskin University Library. We have Knowles MS, and you noticed in the, earlier on that I had Knowles at all, and that's because there are actually two other people. So there's three people that would be quite long to include in the text. So at the end of that, I would have put et al when I used it within the text. But at the end, I've included all three of the authors. There is Shank. RC and the reference to his text and as you can see here I've got SRC I've just shortened that down to the initials because I've included Southern Regional College here within my reference so you, you know that that's Southern Regional College that is the author of that particular text there I've also put where the text was available from which is this URL that's underneath in blue and then I accessed it on the 16th of the 3rd 2013 that's because it's an old piece of writing that I produced. So that's basically my reference for most of what was actually or all of the things I've referenced in the above presentation. So thanks for watching.